idea behind the project was to tackle holiday hunger and the reason behind that is a couple of years ago we were running a project here and we noticed there were a lot of young people whose parents might have already been working but maybe not being able to afford to take the children on any activities, take them on holiday and because they're off school and they're not getting school dinners they were struggling, they're not having school meals, some of the young people were really hungry over the holidays. So that's how the project actually started. So we wanted to tackle that issue to provide some support for the parents in this area. So the children had something to do over the six week period, plus they were being fed a hot meal every day and parents weren't having to worry about not being able to afford taking children on trips and providing activities for them. So over the six weeks, um, we've done lots of different activities. We've had around 18 children come in every day over the holidays. We have four staff every day and we have other different people coming in, so we have partner agencies coming in. So today we've been working with Participation Works here at Gano Community Centre um, using drama as a tool to get the young people to come together, have fun, build skills and create a dialogue. We've kind of worked towards today um, getting them to discuss antisocial behaviour, um, exercises like knock a door run, um, and playing in dangerous places within the neighbourhood and basically getting them to discuss that as well as having lots of fun through drama. I was contacted earlier on this year uh, by the team leader from the National Citizenship Service and they run a project every summer where they work with a group of young people aged 16 plus and they do a project for about six weeks over the summer going on residentials and things like that but part of the project is to spend two weeks out in the community working with different groups and doing community challenges and volunteering with groups over the summer and their team leader asked me if we would be interested in them supporting us at the holiday club over the summer so when they came they did some team building games uh, and they all did, had different roles so they were a team leader and somebody that planned and organised the activities. NCS stands for National Citizen Service and it's a government supported programme which helps young children build on their confidence. We help them take them off the streets and spend the summer doing some good, helping, giving something back to the community. People often criticise young adults like us for drugs, crime, but we want to show the goodness within us and to remove that barrier that we are facing in this day and age. I just started working um, with NCS um, just because I, I really appreciate what they do in the community. I've seen quite a lot of community projects done from previous groups and um, so I just wanted to get involved. So yeah, I'm happy to be working with them. When they did the volunteer day, they asked us what sort of projects they wanted us to do. And one of those projects was creating the garden outside. And we've created a butterfly garden and a little rockery and tidied up all the outside area. So today we're cleaning up the garden, we're putting some flowers in, making a rockery and just making it look really pretty. Generally just reseeding, making it look like we're refurbishing this so it looks more welcoming towards the community and everyone that comes to it. Why are you doing that? Um, because Another of the activities that we ran was the Police CSR Day, which is really good. I've worked alongside Dave Pascoe, the police officer that run the activity on the day, over a lot of years. He's supported us on other projects and he's really, really good. It was really interesting learning how to do fingerprinting, trying handcuffs on, CSR crime tape, all that sort of stuff, which was really, really interesting and I think everybody really enjoyed it. For me, it's about getting young people to understand that the police are there to help you. We're not there just to drive around in police cars to tell young people off and give them a hard time. If you see me in the street tomorrow, or you'll see me in Tesco and you're with your mum, are you going to go and say hello? You're going to say, Dave, you came to our group. Yeah, so you got to know me and I've got to know you guys as well. I 
I do, I really, I wouldn't have done it for 26 years if I didn't enjoy it. We also got support from Burnley Fire Service and the idea behind that was to look at water safety because I have concerns that I know a lot of the young people we work with actually go down to the canal which is only down the road and they go on their own so I wanted to try and talk to young people, get the fire service here and do a little bit of education around water safety and what to do and what not to do. We spoke about the dangers of swimming in open water and places that aren't designated for swimming. If you go swimming, go swimming in a swimming pool where there are lifeguards. Do not go in the canal, the reservoirs, the sea or anywhere like that. We had a lady called Lisa who's a creative artist that actually lives in Gano and she created a project called Urban Warriors and all the young people designed a bin that they wanted to put in the centre. At the moment I'm working with Active Streets and Participation Works uh, to do a community arts engagement project with the kids which concentrates more on like the urban side of things so we've been looking at rubbish and litter picking and we've painted the railings outside and it's really to let the kids have a bit of ownership over the area rather than just doing things in here and containing it in here. This is the bin that we made which is a normal bin but we paper mache it and then they painted it all up so it's got rainbows on and uh, hearts and butterflies and everything that they felt was a positive thing that you should have uh, in your community. One of the other things behind the Holiday Club project was to try and build relationships with the community in this area. So what we wanted to do was invite the local residents along to the centre, show them all the activities that we've been doing. So we've done a display and we've got lots of posters and things like that. We invite them for free tea and cake. So we had a little afternoon tea party and we invited parents, grandparents, local residents, all to come to the tea party. And it was a really busy afternoon. It was lovely to meet some parents and some of the residents that live locally. And I think they really appreciated being able to meet with the young people at the holiday club and I think they've developed a nice little relationship there. What we're doing here today is we're setting up a party for everyone around the community centre. What we're doing today is we're giving coffee and cake to the audience. So it's basically like an afternoon where we like have cake and we have parents coming in with children. We want to make our community think that we're really nice. One afternoon at the club, what we're going to do is to sit down and we've got, got them all to design, like it's like a competition actually, but what we've done with everyone that's been made from the youngsters is we've uh, photocopied them and laminated them a little bit, so they all won in the end really. I think it's a brilliant idea to have um, tea and coffee afternoon here at the centre, because it gets everyone meeting it, each other and you know it's a community spirit, I think it's a really good idea. The children came round yesterday and posted uh, little notes through the letterboxes. When we found out that this community centre did the youth club over the holidays, we thought it was an amazing thing to do. Um, Jack's come more or less every day. It's been great for him over the, the holidays. It's been great for us over the holidays. Um, and he's just loved every moment of it. And it's been, it's been a great idea. It's been fantastic. I've come to spend time with me little girl. My little youngster actually come up to me the other day and said to me, um, we're having a cake and tea day for the adults at youth club, if you want to come with me. Come here generally to just come and spend some time with my baby as she's, she's here near enough every single day. Every single day she can't wait to get here, she loves coming here, enjoying spare time with the, the other kids. Just all around good for everybody because then it gives me and her mother time away from them which we don't usually get do we? Have you all had fun today? Yes we have, yes we have, yeah. We want more. Yes. Over the six weeks of the Holiday Club we had a rewards chart and the idea behind the rewards chart was to reward good behaviour, people helping out on the day when we were doing the activities and just generally being nice to each other. And what we wanted to do at the end of the six week holidays was to reward all the young people and take them on a trip. So we've been to Thornton Old Farm 
and uh, which is over near Skipton. We're going to go on the safari ride, okay? Yes, sir. So it's a great big ride, and it goes all the way around the farm park. You're going to see all of the animals, okay? Yes. So we're going to go in and get sat down straight away. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Super. Yes, sir. on the way up we had some friendly llamas we had some chickens some alpacas and some goats he's got over 12 spikes on his antlers so that's how you can tell what how old your stag is every two years he grows an extra Marshall's back and they will also stand on Marshall's back. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, they were seeing the balls. Were you worried? Yeah. It was for a reward thing, but also for me, were to get the young people out in the in the countryside, see all the different animals, see things they've probably never seen before. Uh, some of the young people said they've not seen goats. collect the eggs from the chickens that were out there which was really good and I just think it was a really nice opportunity for us all to go and just enjoy ourselves and finish the holiday club off on a high, it was really nice. The best thing. After we've all finished our ice cream, we're going to play yeah. in there for a little bit and then we're going to go on. I'd just like to say a really big thank you to Ganabig Local for giving us the funding to run this project. It's given us the opportunity to meet some fantastic young people. I think they've learnt lots of new skills and we've built some really nice relationships with those young people and friendships between each other. So hopefully this film will show them that it's value for money and that the young people have benefited from being part of the project and that it's, it's worthwhile funding it again. Yeah.